what's up, lads? We have a little bit more comfy Game Boy Hour with The Black Bass by Hot B. Oh, man. 1992? 1992, that was a base year. Uh, yeah, it was the year Sonic the Hedgehog came out. October 2nd, 1992. Or that was Sonic 2. So. Something like that. Uh. So I'm gonna select a lure. Da, 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 da. Let's do warm. I sure That's hope your second game is good. 7 5, <laughs> it's 6 a.m. 62 degrees water temperature. What's today's catch? Oh, we caught nothing. What's the move point? Yeah, move the boat. What? Now let's move it. The only game that's allowed to use this song is Mega Man Legends. Yeah, I got that's prime black bass catching. Change like No. I'm not good enough. Yet. <laughs> can you can you uh cast it? What is this? It's just a bunch of lines. Yeah. I know what's going on. Line, depth, and uh, lat latitude and longitude. So, I I'm assuming I only have to look up this game. It's probably $5. I mean, you can look it up if you want. What's it specifically depth. called again? Black Bass. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'd like to reel this in, please. Okay, I did. You're rank 100. You're class 3. Hey, I won! Wanna quit? Yes. <laughs> what is this? Country! No. Japan. Oh, good. Now I can't read it. I'm smart. Okay. So let's just play this in Japanese. They just mess up. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, I'm having a hard time even... I, I'm guessing it's five dollars. The black bass lure fishing? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Alright. Well, I think... Okay, so... I want to try like to see $7. a fish. I want to try to see a fish. I just want to see a fish. I don't want to catch it. I just want to see it. That's all we <laughs> You're need. not going to get it. I just, no, these, I just want to see a fish. These games are always so ambitious for the stupid Game Boy. It should just be Harvest Moon Fishing, but it's not. It's like, pick your boat destination, and then triangulate the latitude and longitude of your lore. And it probably has some sort of hidden mechanic about, like, time of day, or when, what bait you're using. Like, what is even happening? Oh, ye of little faith. This is one of those games where you really need the instruction manual. Alright! <laughs> so the next game, this is, this is, this is gonna be so... This is gonna, this is gonna be alright. We're gonna be okay. Everything is uh, yeah, gonna be alright. Hey, guess what? I have some Q-tips that have been... Uh, that have some Windex on them. You hear that? I don't know if you can. That's a patented CIB cleaning technique. Uh, this actually was a little dirty. I'm going to also clean the black bass one for when I play this again in the future. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's clean. All right. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I will say the outside of this game is pretty, uh, like, the, the sticker and everything's kind of messed up. So I'm not going to say the name of the game until it plays. Right. We got Box Adventure, 1992, Hudson Soft. I'm gonna guess three dollars. Just kidding. All right, so I played this game a lot as a kid on the original Game Boy, and it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's Bonk. Yeah, the Bonk's a good game. Hudson Soft's a good developer. So that's why I specifically put this one with Black Bass, so I could be like, hey, look, you know. It's Although I don't think I played this one. I could have sworn the, the bonk that I played had, like, a huge sprite on the bonk. You, I think, you know, you might be right. Now that I think about it, I did play a bonk game. 
Oh yeah, but I, I I think you might be right. I'll know when I get to the first boss. It's hard to tell. I don't remember this power up. Uh, the way it looks. I just feel like the sprite size. I mean, this game looks better than what I remember because I remember the original game that I played. The sprite size was huge. Yeah, you like that? So yeah, this is one of those games where we're just gonna go until maybe I get to a boss or something. Bonks me, by the way. No, don't, don't make me become. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot that bonks like power ups are the weirdest. They certainly are. Like, you'll get a good power-up, and then when it runs out, you turn into some other weird form. Okay, it's gone now. Sure. Can you still do that thing where you, like, flip in the air over and over? Yeah. Bonk's pretty cool. I think the best Bonk game is probably Super Bonk for the Super Nintendo. But all of them are, like, there's not one that you're like, oh, this is bad Bonk. Uh, there's also Air Zonk, which is uh, a turbo, a rare Turbo Graphics game that uh, is more of a side-scrolling shooter, and that game is really, really hard. I'm that cactus. All right, guess on price. Uh, yeah. So with Bonk and uh, Hudson Soft, sky's the limit. Uh, I'm gonna guess forty. No, thirty bucks. I'm sure I'm wrong, and it's like 15. Yeah. Uh, I will say, for, for what it's worth, the Nintendo version of this game is like $500. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it, for the NES, it makes sense because it came out in 92, which was pretty late in the NES lifespan, I guess. I, sort of. Uh, but for Game Boy, it was like pretty much prime time. I'm going to guess 25. I want to get to a boss. I, yeah, I, and, and, and upon... Upon me thinking about this, I don't think this is the one I played on Game Boy. Uh, this is Bonk's Adventure, I believe. Okay, yeah, it's 20 bucks. Uh, is there, can you look up if, there, if there's another Bonk game on the, uh... The cool thing about when yeah, you... the one that we probably played is called Bonk's Revenge. Uh, okay, so uh, this would be the first one, and then Bonk's Revenge. Yeah, Bonk's Revenge. Uh... Oh, I won. Yeah, Bonk's Revenge is a bit more expensive. It's... Or, uh, Revenge. Revenge. Yeah, so I play Bonk's Revenge a lot, but this game's still good. I don't have that nostalgia for it, but it's still still a pretty solid game. You can do this, and Bonk. You can. Uh go up uh, waterfalls like that. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't really, I mean, I'm not going to beat this game, so that's pretty much what Bonk is. Uh, there's levels where you're inside and outside and in deserts and in icy places, and it's a platformer. It's a good game. It's a good platformer, which is something that we haven't seen recently. Oh, let's, uh, let me show you how you die in this game. As I don't die. Yeah, no more enemies for you. So it's pretty... Okay. So, like, you don't have to restart the level. He goes to sleep. And then you can start up from the place you are, including bosses. That's pretty unique in, yeah, uh, very nice. in games like this. So, all right, that's it. See you next time, guys.